Hi, my name is Patricia Riley. I'm the acting CEO and a director of Penanis Park Avenue Community. Um, I, my position, I, I hold is not, um, I don't get employed by it. I work for the doll and as a voluntary worker. It's raising some concerns that's um, affecting the community of uh, moving forward. Um, <coughs> It's about the service providers that are supposed to be delivering service to our communities. We do have um, areas that's very suffocating, that um, we like to move forward and build potentials into the community that um, we've got a lot of potential that can be generated into business and more employment for the people so that they can get off working for the doll and get a better wage and built the community. We don't have, um, we've, got two, we've got two people working for municipal service. We don't have anyone working for the central. Um, the two people work for the municipal. Their payment has been slashed in half. So they are part-time workers. They don't have any work equipment to work with. They don't have any vehicles. They don't, um, there's nothing provided for them. So they work with whatever the community can provide. Would. And we do have um, health issues with cattle and damaging properties, um, boundary fences that should be fixed and stopping the cattle from coming in. That's not happening for the past few years since um, our service has been taken off us. The road access, it's been damaged. We can't fix that. And when we do ask the service provider to do it, it's like waiting for decades to, to um, help to service the community. We do have a service provider that comes in here once a week. Sometimes it's a fortnight, but he travels from another community, comes out here for an hour or two, and they're gone. They're not here for the full day and help the workers that's here. We've, we have issues with um, our dump. Um, we don't have machineries to to clear clear the areas up. We don't have um, tip tip trucks or graders or anything like that to to keep it all maintained and lifting. Yeah, and they don't have vehicle. One of them works actually. They both work. One of them actually work, used his own private vehicle till he wear and tear it out. And they've been fixing old cars, trying to get it going and it seemed to be breaking down because we got no dollars to, to get it fixed. When community used to handle their own funding, things used to be running smoothly. Because of the funding being taken off every community and put into a service provider, it, started, it, it ended up choking every community. So um, we just work with whatever we got. We don't have much money or funding to work with. Yeah, it just, um, it's suffocating the community and the people. If they don't get paid or they don't turn up or sign a timesheet, they get suspended. Mm -hmm. They send this for Centrelink money, that's all. Mm. And if they get suspended, they can't pay their rent, they can't pay their power card, they can't put feed on the table, feed their kids. Mm. You know, they can't pay their bills all that things. So us the community, we're suffering. Mm. Since a lot of the services got taken off the community and handed into service providers based in town, it started to suffer, suffocate the community in a major way that we don't have, um, we don't have a hospital here, so we have to go into town. So it costs money to travel into town if, a, if it comes to emergency or appointment. We don't have a supermarket here, so going to the road is like pulling out a leg and an arm from a person. So we have to pay for our fuel costs to travel in and out of Derby or to Broome just to do shopping and school. Kids have to travel, wake up five o'clock in the morning, get on that bus by quarter to seven, travel into Derby, come back about three o'clock in the afternoon. Working, um, looking for a job opportunity, it's very hard. 
because we have to be based in Derby when we most of us are not don't want to live in Derby or don't want to stay in towns we like it out in the bush and because there's no job opportunity in, in our own town and we want to we try to create courses or training online training but it's very hard especially when we've been control and and being uh, um, going against our will and our wishes that we can't do these things in our own community. Ninety dollars, hundred and twenty might seem a little money, but to us it's a big money because we live out in a, in a very expensive environment, living up north. Four, five hundred dollars a fortnight, that's nothing compared to the bills that we have to pay to keep up with our rent, food on the table, um, clothing for our children, electricity, um, personal bills. By the end of the day, we still got debts. Hi, my name is John. I live at Penance Park. I'd like to tell you a story about the community of what's been happening through the years and the rain and everything what made this place destroyable like roads all washed away sometimes the bus can't come in so I'm trying to make up something to get this road fixed but I haven't got any want to back me up in certain ways to help me to do the roads, clear the road from the entrance right through the community and even our garage that um, sometimes we just work with what we got and just have to go from there and we need some sort of big machinery. Our, our machinery at the shed workshop it's all the front diff or front area in the diff it's all the seal is all gone, the oil is, is losing oil. That's why we haven't got any machinery to do our job here. And we're just only struggling maybe with shovel and rake. But right, as you can see our machinery lined up here. As this truck for instance that had no slave cylinder whatsoever and bits and pieces to be done on it, but we didn't have the funds to do it. There's no one trying to help us out in any way. And our tractor has got a clutch problem as well. We're supposed to take the gearbox apart and release the clutch and that to get the tractor running in good order. And as you can see over here, that's our rubbish, rubbish run trailer. And there yeah, is Toyota, what we get for work. We haven't got all the bits and pieces are all dropping off slowly. It's running with nearly skeleton soon. And we still just got to battle with what we got. As I was saying for our loader, the loader is, the front seals are gone, can't even get a bit of helping hand for that to get it running. And we can try to do things around the community with the machinists. It's the only one big machine we rely on, but at the moment we haven't got any funds or anything to get anything done on the loader. So yeah, it's just by hand really now. And there's no support from anyone. So well, I just get some boys to help me out with whatever we can do. And even our slasher inside the Kubota front deck gets Bearing is burning, burning on one side. Some of the service provider come from Broome, asking how come we're not doing, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. But the point is, we haven't got the equipment to work with. We haven't got any helping hand. Yeah, and sometimes I give the boys when I'm doing something else to take, use my car when the community haven't got any fuel. So I have fuel in my car, and they use it for around the community run, rubbish run, and yeah.
We've got this filtering system from the Yarrow Foundation from another state that um, donated to the community for for a healthy water. Um, yeah, we, our big concern is that we've got this new system here, equipment, and the damages of the road that um, our, our municipal and central services are supposed to um, maintain to keep it access, accessible to people people in the community, to the members, to um, get access to the water. As you can see, it's um, people have to walk a good distance into their vehicle to, to fill containers up. And we don't have equipment and machineries to, up to fix the road, to make it accessible. Out of this, I'm hoping that um, voicing our concern out there, that we that there might be someone out there that could help us with anything that can bring, it, bring hope and future to the community and build strength into the community to be self-sustainable, that we not have to lean off other <clears throat> lean off service providers and government.